It's a big night in six states across the country tonight. We've got election primaries, and of those six, Arizona is probably the biggest to watch, with a Trump-backed election conspiracy theorist and former news anchor Kerry Lake squaring off against the Mike Pence-endorsed Karen Taylor Robeson for the Republican gubernatorial nomination. Besides Arizona, there is Missouri, where a former scandal-ridden governor is trying to make a comeback, and Michigan, which includes, as a candidate, charged uh, a man charged in the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. Now, to help me break all of this down is Mary C. Curtis. She's a columnist at Roll Call. Good morning, Mary. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Yeah, this is going to be very dramatic with most of the drama on the Republican side, of course, where you have candidates who are very loyal and backed by former President Donald Trump, who back his false election claims that he won against their rivals, who agree probably on most policy, but they want to get past uh, the past because they see such uh, opportunity for the future in the midterms. And they fear that uh, if people are still litigating the past, that some of these candidates will have, uh, you know, won't be that strong in the general. Well, but uh, Mary, Arizona is not getting past the past at all. In fact, one of the major no. credentials of Carrie Lake, who uh, Trump has backed, is that she is an election denier. So what do you make of she that? Is. And she's leading in the polls right now, though it looks to be close. Uh, yeah, and this really has so many implications, not just for the midterms, but for 2024, particularly Arizona, every big office right down the list, the Senate, uh, the secretaries of state, the folks who actually control the elections. And you have people running who said that they would not have certified uh, President Joe Biden's win. So, and Mary, yes, you're referring there to state. Mark Fincham, who is a, a member of the state legislature who's running for Secretary of State as a Republican and is himself an election denier who would then be in charge of elections. Yes, yes. And you see this uh, in all, in many of these states. You have crucial uh, elections in Arizona. Uh, we might in Kansas see a future on what uh, voters think post Roe. You have uh, Congress people who voted for the impeachment of Donald Trump who are Republicans who are going to be on the ballot. Mary, uh, I'm looking at Michigan now. It is a re wild Republican primary. They already had to toss five candidates there because they didn't have enough nominating signatures. Ryan Kelly is one of the candidates that remains. He pleaded not guilty to misdemeanor charge of rallying people to storm the Capitol. And Trump's endorsement, Tudor Dixon, is a low-budget horror film actor. That's not an insult. That is a real thing. So do any of them have a chance against Democrat uh, Gretchen Whitmer there? Well, the thing of it is, is they might have a chance. I mean, some Democrats have been giving money and backing some of the more extreme candidates, thinking that would mean the Democrat would have a better chance. And on paper, it looks to be true that Whitmer uh, is pretty popular and she would have a better chance. But at the same time, other Democrats said, well, this is a pretty risky strategy because, you know, two thirds of Republicans in general still feel that Trump won the election. And they did the same thing in Pennsylvania, too. And now they've got a Republican pro-Trump uh, candidate there for governor uh, who just might win at the Demo after the Democrats backed him in the Republican primary. Certainly a very risky strategy. We'll have to see how it turns out. We're going to be looking at a different landscape as of tomorrow after these primaries. To Mary Sue Curtis, thank you. I know. You. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so we'll much for joining me. Yeah, I look forward to speaking <laughs> you, with you again. We're going to have a lot more to talk about, won't we? Yes, we will. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.